It's Friday and it's time for the Premier League to return. What a week we had last week with Chelsea, Arsenal, Liverpool, Man City and Man United all dropping points. And looking back at my predictions, you're not laughing now, are you? I knew Chelsea wouldn't beat Fulham. I knew Arsenal would lose to Everton. I knew we'd get revenge against Crystal Palace. I knew Liverpool couldn't beat Wolves. I didn't think our top four rivals, Newcastle and Manchester City, were that bad. And we won't talk about my 4-0 Leeds prediction. And all in all, that leaves me with a 27% accuracy for the results and 0% on the scores. But this week we're bringing it back because Chelsea versus West Ham is the early kickoff and West Ham picked up a crucial draw against Newcastle last week to really help them in their surprising relegation battle. But I have to really congratulate Chelsea because that's now three games in a the row they've gone unbeaten. Graham Potter's working some magic finally. But all jokes aside, their defence has been pretty solid, keeping three clean sheets in a row. This is going to be a low scoring game and with West Ham being at home, I can see another nil. Nil. Although I'm hoping the Hammers could nick something. Arsenal v Brentford. Now Arsenal currently sit top of the league. But last week, they lost to bottom of the league. But as a United fan, I can say that the new manager bounces OP. So I can't be too harsh on Arsenal. And Google thinks there's a 67% chance of Arsenal winning. Brentford are surprisingly solid. Destroying Southampton 3-0 last week. And still being unbeaten in the league since October. Maybe Arsenal will just nick it. I think there will be goals in this one. But I'm still struggling to see Arsenal win in the league. So I'm going to have to say 2-2. Two, two. I know Arsenal don't really concede that many. But I just can't back them to win. And I do think there could be cracks starting to form in the Arsenal dam. Crystal Palace versus Brighton. Now it's no surprise that Palace only turned up against us. And apart from that have been really poor. And Brighton have been resilient. With Karen Matoma being in incredible form at the moment. But Palace are really slipping down the league. And they are without Zaha. Palace at home, they need a result. I'm thinking they pull off a 1-1. Fulham v Forest. Now Fulham have had pretty tricky games in the last four fixtures. But Forest at home might be the perfect opportunity for them to turn up. But with a really impressive game against Leeds in the last round. They'll man of the match performance from Keylor Navas. How the hell have they managed that by the way? Things are really looking up for Forest. Now it might sound a bit boring, but I think Navas is huge for Forest. So I can only see Fulham scoring one. And I don't think Forest have any clinical strikers either. So I can see this one ending 1-1. Leicester versus Spurs. I doubted Leicester City's ability. And they turned up against Aston Villa. 4-2 against an Unai Emery side cannot go under the radar. But they're coming up against a Torham team after a 1-0 win against Manchester City. And I can see Harry Kane bagging a few goals. But I do think it'll be a good battle. So I'm going to say 3-2 to Spurs. Southampton versus Wolves. And Southampton are coming off a 3-0 loss against Brentford. And it seems Saints fans have already lost faith in Nathan Jones. And with Wolves coming off a 3-0 victory versus Liverpool, this is going to be a tricky game. With Southampton at home, they really need the fans to get behind them. But with their last win in the league being in, um, where? Wow. Being in August against Chelsea. I think this could be Nathan Jones' goodbye to the Saints fans. I'm saying a 2-1 win for Wolves. Bournemouth versus Newcastle. It seems Bournemouth put up a decent fight against an informed Brighton team, but did they really? And with Newcastle dropping points against West Ham last time, I think this is really a game they're going to look at to try and bounce back. I'm saying this one's ending 2-0 to the Magpies. Leeds versus Man United. Now we have to get revenge. And Ten Hag's already said he wants to play against them immediately, but he's ready for the game. Game on Sunday. I'm disgusted by the reaction with some fans blaming an 18 year old Alejandro Garnacho for the loss. Yes, if Marcus Rashford was playing on the left, he probably would have scored, but it's a learning curve for him and the team. And revenge against Leeds, I think, is going to be sweet. I'm saying a comfortable 2 0 win. Man City versus Villa. And of course, City were bantered by Tottenham last week, but Pep Guardiola right now is seriously rattled after these cheating allegations. And he's announced that he wants to stay at Man City more than ever. And some people, and people are thinking it's going to really, and people, and people are thinking it's going to bring the team together to push ahead, and people are thinking it's, and people are thinking it's going to bring the team together, bring that us against the world mentality to push for a title charge. But I think the whole team's going to collapse. An evening fixture against Unai Emery, it's only going one way. I'm saying 2-1 to the Villa. Liverpool versus Everton, and to Everton ever beat Liverpool. As much as I despise Liverpool and what poor form they're in right now, surely they can't lose to Everton. But with no wins in the league this year, it's going to be tough. I can see both teams scoring. And with Calvert-Lewin out, I know Neil Mopai has something for Liverpool. So I'm predicting a 2-2. And the last match of the game week 
It's a double game week for both Arsenal and Manchester City. And some people are saying this is the title decider. For me, it's just a question, who's the bigger bottle drop? In an ideal world, both teams would draw and there would be a slither of a chance for United to pull something back late in the season. But right now, I can't see anything other than an Arsenal win. Especially the fact that they're at the Emirates, I'm saying 2-0 to the Gunners. Rest in peace, Manchester City.